Daniel for a look at the forecast now. Yeah, he's out at Colesville Nursery in Ashland. Zach talked about plants and a frost coming in. What's going on out there? Yeah, we got a big pattern change headed our way. We've had a lot of warmth so far in March, but the pattern is going to shift and we're going to have some cold air moving in and we're likely going to have back to back nights of freezing temperatures. So everything that started to bud and maybe some of the things you might have planted, they are going to be at risk of getting what we call burned or perhaps even killed. Let me show you an example of what happens when a plant gets burned. These flowers, this is a Jane Magnolia. You see a lot of these in Richmond. They're beautiful, but when it gets too cold, the buds, the flowers, they'll get burned like that. They just don't look very good. They'll go away. You'll still have new blooms coming out. Something like this Japanese maple, really uh, tender new leaves that have come out. If it's small enough, you want to try to cover it up, but a lot of them are too big to cover up, and that's just something you just have to live with. Hopefully it makes it through the freeze. It's an expensive plant though, three to four hundred dollars or something like that. And you don't want to put anything in the ground too early. Mondo grass like this is pretty hardy. It might burn on the top like this is done because of some cold weather a couple weeks ago. You want to stay away from stuff like this. So the geraniums, there's a lot of moisture in the stems there and the flowers in a freeze will absolutely nuke those things. No chance. So you got to bring those inside or cover them up when you have a freeze. You can get some of this stuff here. This is called harvest guard that you can put over the top of them and that'll help things out and either get that or maybe a sheet from your house and make sure that that is on the ready as we get into early next week. Let me show you where we are. This is Colesville Nursery just off of Interstate 95 up in Ashland off of uh, Highway 54. It is a beautiful place, 60 acres of trees, shrubs, flowers, and it is a place that I love to come up to. Uh, we always leave, unfortunately, spending a little bit too much money. The prices are great, but uh, we stuff the car, it seems, every time we are out this way. Great place to be this time of year. Let me show you what's going to happen looking at the entire globe. Look at the cold air pushing south and east. This is today, but as we get into the period, as we get into next week, much colder air moves south and east. So that's an overall pattern change. And so we're looking at three nights where there could be a frost or a freeze. Sunday morning, low temperature of 35 degrees, and then Monday and Tuesday, those are the two that you got to really watch out for. Overnight lows dipping down into the 20s on both of those mornings. It's not unusual to have a freeze this time of year, but we've had so much warmth that there's a lot of stuff out there right now that is really susceptible to a freeze. All right, let's go inside for more on the showers and storms we have right now with meteorologist Mike Stone. Mike? Exactly. Well, we have a boundary Diagonally across Virginia, separating temperatures from the 50s and low 60s from the mid 60s and low 70s. So we have a bit of a temperature change here, and we've had some showers and thunderstorms near and southeast of the boundary. Most of the rain from the past couple of hours has been east and south of Richmond, but even these are starting to break up a little bit, not as intense or as widespread as before. Still have some decent rain coming down the northern neck middle peninsula back here through King William and King and Queen counties there. And as we go a little bit farther south and east, we have some heavy rain near Waverly and Spring Grove. This is all tracking to the north and east and what's going to happen is these showers and isolated thunderstorms will start to fizzle out and get out of here over the coming few hours and by tomorrow morning we'll start to see some clearing with daybreak lows down into the 40s to around 50 for our far northern and western cities and counties upper 30s and low 40s. High temperatures tomorrow widespread in the 60s some mid to upper 60s across the metro. We'll have sunshine some clouds will increase in the afternoon 63 at noon a high of 67 and a little bit breezy with a westerly wind 10 to 20 miles an hour. Going into Saturday, a high of 59, a cold front comes through with a couple of showers. It will not be an all day rain for the SPCA dog jog. 46 at 8 o'clock will be in the low and mid 50s for the actual event. Just a very slight chance of a shower. Not going to be a washout by any means, just a few scattered showers. And then there's that cold air Zach was talking about. During this period, the normal low is 41, so we'll have a few mornings there in the 20s. We're back into the 60s and 70s, though, by the middle and end of next week. Julie. Thanks, Mike.